Storm, are you secure? You ready for this video? All right, let's do this. So keep me in your side, cause I can do this all night. Hey everyone, it's Nicole from Nicole Loves Nails. Welcome to my channel. So today's video I am particularly excited about, oh, are you leaving already? Like we just started. We just started. As I was saying, so I am particularly excited about today's video. So today's video is for the Unguilty Pleasures collection by Essie. This was my very first time purchasing a collection from Essie in many years. Like I can't remember the last time I purchased an Essie polish. I wasn't too sure what to expect. I had heard that Essie polishes have improved, we shall say, uh, since I last purchased them, which had to have been at least five years ago. So the Unguilty Pleasures collection is, it's not a holiday and it's not spring. I guess it's some kind of transitional thing. Okay. According to the Essie website, this collection is all about saying yes to the things that make you happy and leaving the guilt behind. Which I actually feel like is pretty nice. I, I feel like that is actually kind of my motto for the upcoming year. Like I am definitely stepping away from things that make me unhappy and moving towards things that, you know, bring me joy, which is how we ended up getting this Essie collection. So I did purchase this collection, uh, I think I got through Amazon if I'm remembering correctly. I don't think anyone's actually new to Essie, but in case you are, their polishes are in 13.5 ml bottles. According to their website, they are cruelty free, vegan, as well as being eight free. Before we get into today's video, I do want to mention, if you are new around here, hi there, I am Nicole. It is wonderful to meet you and thank you very much for clicking on this video. Do consider hitting that subscribe button if you enjoy nail polish related content. I upload new videos every single week featuring a mixture of indie, mainstream, as well as boutique nail polish brands. If you are in fact a returning subscriber, welcome back. How are you doing? So I have six polishes to share with you all. Let's just get into this video. First up, we have Caught in the Rain. Essie describes this one as a muted, neutral, sage green with gray undertones. So this one had a really great formula. It's self-leveled beautifully, just applied beautifully. And like, even though this is not a color at all that I would gravitate towards or even particularly like very much, I thought this one was absolutely fantastic. It was also practically a one coater on me, which is particularly impressive given my nails are so long and plus a large part of them are clear. So this one does seem to dry down a little bit darker than it applies, but just very slightly. So I swatched this one in two coats plus glossy top coat. It does dry down fairly glossy on its own though. Next up we have Home by 8. Essie describes this one as a faded soft black with red undertones. So this one also had a fantastic formula. It was not quite as opaque as the previous polish, but it was still fantastic coverage. I swatched this one in two coats. So I really struggled with deciding what color this was in person. I would probably say it was like a muted, super grayed out purple. I was not really seeing a soft black with red undertones. Like I don't understand what that's supposed to mean exactly. I will say once I got this one outside, I was able to see like the red undertones. The polish was looking a little bit brown, which was weird to me. I don't understand how it turned brown in the sun. All that aside, I thought this polish was absolutely gorgeous. I love this color so much and I really did not think that I would. Next up we have No To Do. Essie describes this one as being a deep coffee brown with red undertones. So this one also had a fan fantastic formula, basically a one coater, which again, I was just in shock that we had so many great polishes with such great coverage. So this one did not feel overly thick or thin, zero application issues. This is not a color that I thought that I liked. And then I got it on my nail and I was just like, ooh. I think my issue is that I went so long thinking that I didn't like brown nail polish on. And now that like I do, I'm still forgetting that like I like this color and I thought this one was absolutely gorgeous. It does dry down just a tiny bit darker than it applies. I would call it like a warm tone medium brown. So I swatched this one in two coats plus glossy top coat. Once again, the polish does dry down fairly glossy on its own. Next up, we have Snooze In. The brand describes this one as a warm pinky coral with yellow undertones. So this polish also had a fantastic formula. I really thought that this was going to be like a chalky mess, but it actually applied really nicely. I did have an issue where you're seeing right here that um, the polish was separating from my nail. This only happened when I was recording my live swatches, so make sure to wear base coat, I guess, because I don't use base coat for the live swatches, and that's the only difference between the live swatches and my full hand swatch. This was a little tricky to photograph color-wise. I kept finding that depending on lighting, it was either a pink leaning coral or like an orange leaning coral. It was really getting on my nerves if we're being perfectly honest. This polish also self-leveled a little bit slower than the other polishes, but I'm not terribly surprised because I feel like uh, corals tend to just 
tend to be a little wonky at times for whatever reason. So I do think this one's likely going to be a two or three coater depending on application and nail length. I swatched this one in two coats plus glossy top coat and just like the other ones it does dry down fairly glossy on its own. And next up we have To Me From Me. The brand describes this one as a softened deep indigo blue with white undertones. So this polish had a Surprise, mother fantastic formula. Uh, just, just wow. This one was definitely a one coater on me and it also dries down a little bit darker than it applies. Personally, I love the color it dries down to, but I also kind of dig the color that it started out as as well. I would describe the base color on this one as like a dark denim blue with gray undertones. I don't know what a white undertone is. I, I guess that means some type of gray or maybe they added a little bit more white to the base maybe, but I love colors like this. I thought this one was absolutely gorgeous. And the final polish in this collection is called Unguilty Pleasures. Essie describes this one as a rich teal green with blue undertones. This polish also had a fantastic formula. Just this color is just so stinking beautiful. This polish also dries down just a little bit darker than it applies. I also found that it dries down a little bit more muted looking as well. But this, this color is just absolutely beautiful. I love this color so much. It's just, it's stunning. This polish was a one coater for me, but I did swatch it into Coast Plus Glossy Top Coat. And again, it does dry down fairly glossy on its own. So overall, I thought the collection was really fantastic. I was really, truly, honestly surprised at how good the formulas were on all of these. All of the polishes, except for one of them, I would say were definite two coaters. I think if your short nails are probably gonna be one, some of them might be one quarter, one coat, one coaters as well, which again, I was shocked. I, I really expected all these were gonna be three coaters. I do think one big change that Essie has done since I last tried them, was changing to uh, the paddle brush. Application was perfect. I freaking love that brush so much. So yeah, I I really enjoyed this collection. The color story, I feel, does kind of give me transitioning between winter and spring kind of vibes. So as far as top picks go, I think, uh, am I, am I? Mm, I think for my favorite, I'm gonna go with To Me From Me. There was a, something about this base color that I just found just really enjoyable. I just really liked it a lot. But I also really liked Unguilty Pleasures and No To Do were also standouts for me. I think these three just, I just really liked them a lot. And I did not expect that I was going to like them a lot. Fantastic collection. If you don't already have colors similar to these, I would recommend picking them up. And I will have links down in the description box for places you can purchase this online. But I do think it's starting to pop up in stores as well if you wanna do that. But you know, if you wanna help me out and use some of my affiliate links, I would greatly appreciate. It helps me afford to purchase all these collections. Uh, so yeah, Essie is one of the brands I will be swatching from here on out in the future. I do have their Valentine's Day collection already ordered. I'm just waiting for it to ship. And I did see that they also have a spring collection, but I have not yet seen any places where that is sold. So I would love to know what everyone else thought of this collection. Like, are you planning on picking it? Have you already picked it up? Let me know, because I'm, I'm genuinely really curious on what like you all think of Essie polishes. Like, I will fully admit, uh, Essie has never really been a brand that's on my radar. Um, they just never really released too many polishes that I personally gravitate towards, but I am looking forward to trying them out more in the future and just kind of seeing, like, getting a real feel for this brand. So if you all would like to see me swatch some Essie polishes, definitely comment down below. I would love to know. Uh, don't forget to give this video a big old like. And before we leave for today's video, I do want to give a major shout out to all of my channel members. Your names are on the screen right now. Just thank you all so much for all the love and support. I love you guys. If you're interested in joining my channel memberships, definitely check out the link I have down in the description box. But if you don't want to sign up for the channel members, that's fine too. Just definitely hit the subscribe button. I love that as well. Uh, thank you all so very much for watching. I hope everyone just has a fantastic week and I'll see you all in the next video.